Welcome back. Well, the last 24 hours have been interesting. Warframe's Planes of Eidolon expansion launched, and it's pretty good. It's really good. Being able to roam around and explore was a welcome addition to the game, and also needed, in my opinion, to actively compete with similar games in the future. It's a foundation in which they can add many more new features. It's been stated that the end goal is to have one of those type of worlds where you can roam for each planet in the star chart. Now, I decided to wait a bit before saying anything about launch because I wanted to see how the company reacted to problems that occurred. As I've stated, this is my first time being active during an update and I want it to be fair. My perspective is from that of a player, but I have the understanding of being a content creator because I do create videos and I have stream. Okay. Now, before launch, Steve Sinclair, the video game director for Digital Extremes, was on Periscope and I was honestly blown away. He was exhausted, but he patiently explained what was going on, the bugs that they were trying to squash before launch, and for a couple of hours, he took the time to educate people who were willing to learn about you know, what their goals were, what was going on, etc. There were things that he couldn't answer, but for the most part, it was a very open Q&A, and he was open about the... I, I'm still shocked that he actually did that during one of the most hectic, chaotic times. He was very calm, cool, and collected, answering questions, being very humble, appreciative. I, I couldn't believe it. I will put a link in the description below if you want to watch it. I don't know how long Periscope keeps those things up. Anyway, when the update, they call it an update. I think it's more of an expansion. But when Planes of Eidolon launched, one of my concerns about bandwidth was squashed. They had, uh, Steve said, during the Periscope, see, I learned something, 33 CDNs handling the distribution which made the download smooth, considering thousands of people were accessing it at the same time. So keep in mind, there were like 12 to 14,000 people watching him on Periscope. And then you have to keep in mind, there were streamers that were actively waiting to pull the trigger to download and the thousands of people watching them. So that was really smooth. While I you know, was excited for the expansion, especially after listening, you know, and watching the Periscope. And I've lost count of how many launches that I've experienced. So, you know, I didn't really have an expectation. My goal is, even if I like something, even if I love something, to still be able to be objective about it. No launch is perfect, and I knew there would be issues, and there were. Some of the missions were bugged. The drone stopped following me, so I failed the mission. The reason why was because the range of the drone was too short. So if the player got out of the range of the drone, it stopped following, which is really easy to do, particularly like if you're on something like Volt, which has the speed buff, you know, yeah. So this issue has been fixed in a hot fix, and I will link the patch notes for that in the description. It was fixed the next day along with some other issues. People trying to play together in squads experienced issues zoning in and out of the planes. For me, as a relatively new player, the planes were tough. I could not imagine doing this fresh into the game after doing Vor's Prize on launch day. There's, there's no way. Now I noticed today it was more balanced. Uh, I was getting mobs that were more appropriate for my level. But again, there was a hotfix that seemed to balance that. But I saw streamers and players complaining that they increased the spawn rates of mobs in the game. So they're not too pleased about that. I got my butt whooped on launch day. You know what happened? 
I took my newbie self back to completing the star chart, which is what I should be doing. So that's not to say that you can't level in Planes of Eidolon, but it's up to you and what you want to do. I would suggest if you are a new player to do what I'm doing, go back in the star chart as much as you may want to play in the planes to complete it because there are some things that you will need to open up so that you can take full advantage of the planes. Now, I don't know all the things because I wanted to experience that, but you have to finish the star chart to get your operator, which I talked about. Now, I don't know everything that the operator does, but you've got to finish the chart to open it up. So just remember that. What drove me absolutely nuts and what I will most likely shy away from in the future, I don't know, is watching streamers for in-game items. There was a promotion to have in-game items added to your Warframe account when a Twitch streamer completed achievements in-game. For that to work, both Twitch and the Warframe servers needed to be working in sync, and they weren't. Streamers completed achievements and viewers didn't get the rewards. Now keep in mind, achievements are earned once. So it's not like they could go back and redo it once the achievement was earned. Now a caveat here is supposedly they are going to possibly reset these achievements next week so you can go through this all over again. <laughs> but let me continue. This caused viewers... Uh, to have to hop around streams chasing rewards. Performance issues and hot fixes stop streamers from being able to complete the achievements. That achievement for surviving the night? The way the game goes, daylight is 100 minutes and nighttime is 50 minutes long, okay? And Steve explained in Periscope that it's like that to prevent people who log in around the same time from always getting day, night, you know, whatever it is when they log in. And that makes sense. If you get off from work, you get something to eat, you'll be logging in around the same time. So this would make it, that off time would make it more random. So that makes sense. The problem is, is that the game was glitching and I felt so bad for one stream because it took, I kid you not, four attempts for him to get this. Do the math. That's eight hours. That's almost eight hours of effort. The third one, he was eight minutes from getting it the third time, and the servers went down for a hot fix. I felt so bad. If I could have, I would have. I, I just felt so bad. I just wanted to give him something. Streamers had it rough, and it made it rough for viewers. And when I saw him kicked out of the game, I felt so bad. I really... I felt bad for me too because it's like, here we go again. Are you serious? I have to stay in here another freaking two? And it's like, no, I don't have to stay in there another two hours. But then again, it's like the only way you get this sigil. And my issue with the sigil was you have sigils that are just because sigils. And then you have sigils that you equip, you put on your frame to earn reputation. So you need them. So as a new player, I don't know whether this sigil is one of these I don't care about ones or if it's one that's going to actually mean something later on. And the only way that I can get it is by watching a streamer. You see what I'm saying? And when you ask streamers, some said it's a, you know, I don't care one. And some said th to protect themselves. This might be something that you need later on in the future. So <laughs> I was frustrated and the streamers were frustrated. Players were frustrated. Viewers were frustrated. Everybody was sort of frustrated. And um, I watched streamers when they finally got it. So dismayed when they watched their chat say that they didn't get the reward. And I never did get it. Although I watched a streamer get it more than I'd like to admit. Even though there was a hat fix, by the dawn's early light, that's the name of the, achieve, the achievement, is still bugged. I don't know what they're going to end up doing like with that. As I said, they said that they're going to reset these and 
you know, you'd have to sit back through it again. But if it's not a sigil that's needed, is it really worth it? And let me be clear. These are issues that have been going on long before last night. Your average streamer has zero business experience and most copy what successful streamers have done. It's a learning experience for them and they are about to learn a very valuable lesson that getting the customer is not the hard part. Keeping the customer is the real challenge when it comes to business. Streamers are challenged with keeping their new subs just like Digital Extremes is challenged with retaining the new people exposed to their game right now. I like the Twitch Prime promotions, but the in-game loot based on achievements by streamers? Can I make some suggestions? Do not attach rewards to achievements based on time. Do not require someone to watch a stream for an hour or whatever to get anything because if the technology glitches, that's an hour wasted. Instead, if you really want to encourage people to watch streamers, make the achievements progressive so that it makes sense for someone to pick a streamer and stay there because they want to, not because they are encouraged to because an achievement takes a while to complete. A 150-minute time investment is a lot to ask when the technology is working flawlessly, let alone when it glitches. I mean, okay, make up your mind. Do you want me to play the game, or would you prefer me watch other people play the game? I received the best results watching smaller streamers, and honestly, it was a more pleasant viewing experience for me. They were appreciative. They weren't impatient during dialogue because they weren't pressed trying to catch up with everyone else. They were more willing to immerse themselves in the world and just chill, talking with chat instead of the squad that they were in. Another thing, and this is entirely messy. If you want to get the achievements, it works best if you are not logged in the game when the achievement happens. I, I, I know, at launch, it's best that you're not logged in. Most people said that while in game, and I experienced this too, the alerts didn't show up, but if I logged out and then logged back in, the rewards were there. But it worked when, you know, when I actually got rewards after it was fixed, I'm talking about now. So it's better if you're not in the game than in the game. That just makes no sense to me. It's like they're conflicted. I, 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 I don't know. All in all, the Warframe community seems to be a good one. I'm enjoying the game a lot. And once I figured out to watch the smaller streamers, I found streams I enjoyed watching or listening to as I played. I still think that at launch, the focus should be on players actually playing the game and less on watching other people play the game. However, and I cannot stress this enough, it is impressive that Digital Extremes is willing to work with content creators. So I definitely want to give them props for that. Absolutely. But the truth of the matter is, is that it's the streamer's job to get people to watch them, not the gaming companies. So... I recommend checking out Warframe if you haven't, especially as the chaos that happened at launch is calming down. And I look forward to more Warframe content coming, and I personally am looking forward to leveling and playing with guys. But again, overall, after I learned about which streamers to watch and whatnot, it was a rewarding experience, but again, I think that the focus should be on getting me to play the game than getting me to watch other people at launch. I think this promotion would have been great after people have played the game. So, and I understand they're trying to create hype for themselves and everything, but the launch itself was enough for that. So then what are you going to do after that? You see what I'm saying? So in my opinion, this would have been better and probably would have been less chaotic if this happened 
after watch. You see what I'm saying? But let me know what you guys think. I'm going to bed. That's what I'm doing. And I actually made it through a video recording without my cats trying to get it on. So that's 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 good. Yeah, this is things are looking up. <laughs> Thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.